Before I start the video off, make sure you like the video and subscribe so I know you enjoy the videos. Let's go. Many of you have seen the terrible Grubhub ad known as Delivery Dance. But have you seen these 10 Grubhub theories that'll make you boogie? Let's get into it. Number 10. The Grubhub Dad is an opioid addict. The Grubhub Dad may seem like a friendly guy at first glance, but he's actually an opioid addict according to this theory. The Grubhub Boogeyman can be seen hallucinating halfway through the commercial. Many wouldn't assume this the first time they saw the ad, but now you know. Number 9. Salad Mom is a Veteran She may seem like a relatively normal soccer mom, but she actually served in the military at some point in her life. This can be proved by this frame alone. According to this theory, the only way someone would be able to eat a salad like this would be if they had PTSD from being a pilot as the salad on her fork could be hallucinated as an enemy plane. But that's just a theory. A Grubhub theory. Number 8. The child is not alive. The child in this advertisement appears to be an innocent, slightly disturbed child, but you would be very wrong. The child in this ad is dead, and this theory will attempt to prove it. The first piece of information that tells us this is that his eyes are bugged out of his head, as if he were a skeleton. Another thing that this theory points out is that he moves like he is possessed, very robotically and lifeless. Number 7. Grubhub is an opioid distribution service. Grubhub seems like an innocent company, just trying to promote their brand. But the story is far different than you would think. This theory is a continuation of number 10 on our list, as it relates to the same narrative. According to this theory, the reason why the child's eyes are so bugged out is due to the fact that he's on opioids. Ever wonder why Salad Mom is so enthusiastic about her salad? It's because there are opioids in the salad. Nobody should be that happy about a salad. The one responsible for supplying the opioids is the delivery guy from another Grubhub ad, that people commonly refer to as the Grubhub Delivery Guy commercial. Number 6. The Wiener Guy Theory You may think that you've seen all the people in the Grubverse, but you'd be mistaken. According to this theory, there was a guy in the commercial eating a wiener at some point. This is supported by the fact that there is an empty space right behind Sushi Guy and Sushi Girl. This is where the wiener guy is said to have been. Number 5. The meatball subwoman is Boogeyman's wife. You may think that Boogeyman had a divorce with his wife, but you would be very wrong. The reason we never see his wife is because she didn't want to come to the video shoot. This also could be a possible explanation for why there is a blank space behind the sushi guy and sushi woman. The sushi people must have been very mad at the meatball subwoman. Number 4. The ad is a hypnosis trap. This ad seems like a pretty legitimate, innocent commercial, but you would be terribly mistaken. The smartphone at the beginning of the ad is actually a hypnosis device that hypnotizes whoever gazes upon it by fabricating opioids and drugs into the victim. This is why the people in the ad perform such crazy dance moves and are so enthusiastic about a simple salad. Number 3. Grubhub is anti-ketchup. Grubhub is a thing all people across the world know and love. But what you don't know is that ketchup is Grubhub's greatest enemy. This is because Grubhub was tricked by their rival company known as Food Boys into using opioid-filled ketchup in their food. After 200 people that ordered Grubhub food got deathly ill, Food Boys was found out and Grubhub never wanted to use ketchup ever again in their food products. Number 2. The child is Flint Lockwood's transgender sister. Nine years before the events of these ads, Flint Lockwood's mother gave birth to the child in the Grubhub ad. 
The child was later thrown into a local pile of Grubhub supplies to be adopted by the meatball subwoman and brought into the Boogie family. Before we get to the last entry on the list, I just wanted to share some of the honorable mentions that didn't make it onto the list, such as Boogeyman's favorite food being grapes, the child is a Packers fan, and Chester V is Boogeyman's dad. Now, let's get to the number one on the list. We live in the Grubverse. You might be inclined to think that this reality we live in is the realest reality there is. But according to this theory, we are living in a 64K VR simulation controlled by Chester V and Barb. Rumor has it that if you figure out how to escape the simulation, Barb will give you a chocolate bar. Now that is an enticing incentive. In addition to this, Flint Lockwood is the one operating the PCs in our 64K VR simulation. This theory is proven by the dance the Boogeyman performs midway through the ad which translates in sign language to The simulation is inescapable. Perhaps this means that we should not try to escape the simulation. That brings us to the end of the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future uploads. This has been KPB, and I'll see you in my next video.